as a country under Israeli occupation. <laughs> Palestine has been in the world media for decades. However, while the media has focused on the personal hardships of the Palestinian people and the Israeli occupation of their land, There has been a more clandestine way of stealing the Palestinian identity. This is to take the very history of the people and their land and claim it as a Jewish history. It is this that has been given the least media attention, yet it is a phenomena that is growing at a rapid rate and remains at the heart of the Zionist project. You see, there, are, there were claims uh, generally based on archaeology, placed on archaeology of Palestine uh, for um, justification uh, uh, of uh, settlement policy. Uh, the, the phenomenon dates back to several decades. And uh, there is a, a precise uh, date, which is the uh, May, June, 19, uh, June 1967. Inside the archaeological text, it uh, depends on the people who uh, are excavating to give uh, the explanation. And most of the time, they was digging with, uh, with the pipe in their hand. Following the 1967 occupation of Palestine, Israel began intensive archaeological activity as they excavated large areas of Palestinian land, removing many antiquities. At this time, the race began to find evidence of Jewish history so they could claim the land from the Palestinians. Short period of time, capable of presenting it to the world as facts that cannot be refuted. Whoever tries to alter these facts are accused of being anti-Semitic or an enemy of Israel, a person with a great hatred of the Jews. This is not true. Illicit diggers usually work in crews of four to ten people and usually work dressed in dark clothes at night in order to avoid the police and landowners. These people are well equipped and use sophisticated equipment such as metal detectors and tractors to dig deep into the ground, often searching for clues such as fig trees to pinpoint underground caves. Although the site has been protected, excavations of the area continue. During the First Intifada, parts of the Crusade Cathedral were stolen and placed into Israeli museums and private collections. The excavations of this most important site are continuing. Although the site belongs to Palestinian land, the brochures of the site name the land as part of the Jewish named Samaria. In the rush for Jewish Israelis to find proof of their history, in 2008 they discovered a stone that contained ancient Hebrew writing dating back decades before the birth of Jesus, showing the first proof of Jewish history in Jerusalem. I live here in Jerusalem. I work as a tour guide, showing people the beauty here of Jerusalem, the beauty of the land. You asked me a question. A very good question. 
Why is the Temple Mount, the Western Wall, so important to the Jewish nation? As he had previously forged another stone which matched the writing. He had a workshop where he invented archaeological monuments and sold them for millions of dollars to foreigners or Israelis. Therefore, the entire claimed Israeli historical system fell apart when it turned out to be fake. They falsified the Palestinian history and sold this to respectful European people. They wanted truthful monuments, but they turned out to be fake items made recently. 